Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 961. If you want to download this workbook 960 and 963, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. Here's a simple situation. We have the quantity of items we sold, the old price and the new price. Now, in some cases, the new price went down. In other cases, it went up. And we want to know the total savings, meaning we need to take the old price minus a new price times the quantity. Now, we're going to see a couple great things in this video. We're going to see some column solutions where you have the total at the bottom. And that's totally what you want sometimes. You want to see the individual savings per items. Other times, you're like, forget that. I just want the total savings. So we'll see some great column solutions and some single cell solutions. And we'll see how to do it in 2007 and earlier, 2010, and an amazing new function in 2013 uh, called if and a, and in particular, uh, the array formula, single cell formula, will be just amazing. All right, what's the basics here? We're going to take the old price minus the new price. Now, um, we do have a complication here. We are going to have some NAs, and that is really what's going to uh, cause a bunch of the trouble here. And really, we want those NAs here. It's doing a, a lookup over here, so we want those NAs when the product isn't available. All right, let's just do our basic calculation. Old price minus new price. I'm going to copy that down. That's just the basics, right? That's just figuring out the difference per individual product, but that's the problem, that NA. Well, let's finish this formula in the column. I want to force that subtraction first. That's the savings given that we ha have the new price. And we simply want to multiply that by the quantity. Control Enter, and then drag it down. Now, let's. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. I'm going to Control V there, Tab, and Control V. Well. In earlier versions, before 10 or 13, uh, we could use the if function and is NA. So check this out. I'm going to say if. And what are we interested in? It's when the item in this column has an NA. So in the um, open parentheses, in the logical test, I'm simply going to use is NA. Now, is NA is a logical formula that will give you a true or a false. So boom relative cell reference. If that is an NA, then what do I want in the cell? Well, if we don't have any uh, price from earlier, then this $11 represents zero change. So for the value of true, I'm putting a zero. Otherwise, run the formula. All right, so that'll work. Control Enter and copy down. So it, the zeros get placed where there were NAs. And now I can simply Alt equals. Right now. In 2010, if you don't mind the NAs, who cares? I want them in this column. But I still need the total. No problem, the amazing aggregate function in 2010, aggregate. So aggregate, I'm simply, whoops, that's, you can't see that there. And the aggregate, I'm going to use number 9 because it's asked for function, so 9. And then comma, absolutely awesome, number 6, ignore errors. And then array, no, I'm using the reference. I'm just going to highlight these right here. And that's it. That's beautiful. So if we're interested in the total, and we don't mind seeing the NAs, that is absolutely beautiful and certainly much easier than uh, this over here. But again, if you want your column to be free of NAs, then that certainly is wonderful. But check this out. 2013, we can just use the if NA. Now notice I keep hitting tab. That happened a couple other times here. When I do tab on if NA, it sees that parentheses, which is really part of the subtraction, and takes it. So I oftentimes forget. I got to remember. Put type that in. All right. So there's a value. If NA, we want a zero. I love that new if NA. So for the column solution, that certainly is awesome. I'm going to Alt equals and Control Enter. Whoops. I do wrong there. I got the, um, oh yeah, the old alt equals and not paying attention. You know, uh, the rule for alt equals is alt equals look. If it's wrong, edit it, right? And then, so I, I 
violated that rule when you use alt equals. It's always a two-step process. All right, so we have all those values here. Now, in earlier versions, if you wanted a single cell formula, no problem. We could use equals if, and we'll use the same is an A. Now, that is an A is expecting a single value. We're going to put a whole column of values in here, right? That means it's an array formula. Further, this uh, logical test right here, we're putting more than one true or false in there, so that makes it an array formula that requires control shift enter. And it requires control shift enter. Even if you put it into a, a parent function like some product which can handle arrays, because this logical test will trump it. All right, so that just means we're going to have to use control shift enter. Now, the val if that's an NA, then I want to show a zero here. Otherwise, the value if false, which means it's not n is NA, I simply do my calculation. The old price minus the new price in parentheses times the quantity. So in essence, over in this cell right here, we are doing the same formula, but instead of having single cells, we're doing the whole columns. All right? So close parentheses. Now, wait a second. If I evaluate this, meaning highlight it and hit the F9 key, that gives me a bunch of numbers. Those aren't going to fit in one cell. And of course, Control Z to undo that. My goal is to add them, so I'm going to put them inside of sum. Now, again, logical test, that argument is going to trump. If you're familiar with some product, this is a great function. And it absolutely can handle arrays. But watch what happens when I try to put it in some product and hit Enter. It gives me a value error. But when I Control Shift Enter, it'll give me the right answer. So the moral of the story is, is that if logical test is trumping the array argument in some product. So in this case, where you're required to do Control Shift Enter, a lot of times it's more polite to use the sum function and Control Shift Enter. Then someone who's using the spreadsheet, or I mean, if someone is, they won't see the sum product and they think it should work with just Enter. All right, so that's a great formula in earlier versions. And I'm going to steal this. Watch this. Since this is the calculation. That's the array calculation. Copy, escape. I'm going to come here, equals sum and if na. Watch this. I just put the value. And then comma. What do I want if it's an na? Please give me a 0, because the sum can deal with that 0, but it can't handle that uh, na. Beautiful substitution here in 2013. That formula, Control-Shift-Enter, a, a little bit less complicated than that formula. And of course, when you Control-Shift-Enter, you can see the curly brackets up here. Anytime you do Control-Shift-Enter, you're telling Excel I'm doing array formulas. Those curly brackets are Excel telling you, hey, I understood you did an array formula. All right, uh, a bunch about doing some array calculations to figure out the total uh, savings, given that we have a new price and an old price and a quantity. And we got to see that great if and a. All right, see you next video.